Hello, Paul Robinson from bushcraftcanada.com. Okay, I'm going to do a quick comparison video today between two absolutely superb larger knives from Follum. Of course, the really iconic A1. I've got the black version out to show today, and the uh, A2. The A2 is not such a well known knife perhaps as the A1, but a very interesting knife. Very functional, both of these knives, and uh, you know, a really great choice if you're looking for a larger survival knife. Um, I'll deal with the uh, A1 first. Of course, a real classic from um, from Fall Never Knives. The A1 is a really superb knife. Of course, it spawned the A1Xs and A1 Pros. Um, but the original knife is still an excellent knife. Very, very strong. Very, very functional knife. And like I say, a good size knife as well. 11 inches overall length and a 6.3 inch blade. So that swedge there. Um, it's uh, like I say, very, very solid feeling knife, and it's one of those larger knives that doesn't feel like a larger knife. It's uh, uh, very comfortable, very well balanced, and um, you know, is a is a very good all round knife because that balance is so good. You can have that extra blade length, and you still got a lot of control over this knife. It's a really superb design. Like I say, this is the black coated version. You can get them in satin too, convex grind. These are still in the laminate VG10, very, very good steel, of course, full stainless, very fine grain steel. So these are full tang. They have the top and bottom of the tang nibbled off to accommodate this wrap round handle, as you can see. And then the tang is exposed at the end. Let me just see that there. Has a nice bit of belly and nice width actually in the handle too, so a nice grip. Like I say, good for most size hands from small to extra large, I would say. Very, very nice knife indeed. Um, you know, laminate steel is very, very strong. And, uh, you know, a real quality, quality knife. Um, like I say, very functional. And, you know, this convex grind as well has been shown. Cuts through wood fibers extremely well. So, you know, you've got a very tough uh, cutting tool with an A1. Um, and uh, superb balance. Really excellent knife. Uh, the A2, of course, is, I guess, is the big brother. And this is uh, almost, it was over 12 and a half inches overall length. It has that deeper swedge here, so it looks almost like more of a spear point. But the blade is very similar. It's a pretty big blade, actually, almost eight inches. Again, convex grind. Six mil thick stock, and they're both six mil thick. So there's a lot of steel on the A2 here, and it does feel a bit more tip heavy because of that. But you know, that perhaps gives you a bit more of a chopping action with these larger blades. Um, Again, you know, really superb fit and finish on both these knives. And again, the same construction with the tang nibble, top and bottom, exposed tang at the end. Plenty of width on this handle. Um, and a lanyard hole there. Very, very comfortable in the hand. Would be, again, very good for all hand sizes, I would think. About 59 HRC, by the way, both these knives. So it's a good, you know, it's a good bit uh, longer than the, uh, than the A1. And of course, there's good sides and down, and you know, upsides and downsides to that. You've got a lot longer chopping length. You've got more inertia, um, but of course, you've got more weight too. But a really excellent larger knife. I'll just show them side by side here, just to get you some idea. The handle's very, very similar. I don't know if I can quite show you that. Sorry about that. Uh, in terms of width, too, I would say almost identical. Spine thickness is the same, but the blade length quite a bit different. So the sheaths for the A2, there is only the leather option. You get a nice big dangler leather sheath for the A2. Nice thick leather you can see there, well stitched, typical fall niven quality. And for the A1, there's a leather or Zytel version for a bit of contrast. I'll just show you the Zytel. Very tough material, this Zytel has the uh, snap ring there and a little lock it's not actually a lock actually it just gives you a little bit of resistance to the knife as you click that in but Zytel is very good drains very quickly doesn't you know there's no rust or mold issues that kind of thing so it's a good choice so both knives are really superb full living quality excellent designs great steels you know if you are looking for a larger knife a1 is probably the go-to knife but if you're looking for one you know with the extra blade length uh, A2 would be difficult to beat. Superb knife uh, in, in all respects, actually. Um, the handle material, by the way, is textured Thermron, so it gives you a nice grip, 
Uh, it's a rubbery type material, but it's not particularly soft, you know, that's a, it's a, quite a durable material. Anyway, you can see both these knives on our website, bushcraftcanada.com. Have a look on the phone over knives, and of course, if you need any more information, you can just email me, paul at bushcraftcanada.com.